A warm welcome from the U.S. Virgin Islands. You are tuned into VI Food Vloggers. This unique reality show consists of five friends, restaurant hopping, and sampling cuisines from the Virgin Islands' finest and favorite restaurants and snack shops. We present to you VI Food Vloggers. Good evening and welcome to the very first episode of VI Bloggers Table of Five. We are at the Blue Water Terrace on the east end of St. Croix and we're here to sample their wonderful food and let the people of the Virgin Islands and the people of the world know if this is a spot to be. Is this it something is, we can handle? Without a doubt. It is. Like, it's one of my favorite restaurants. Well, I've always said that I come here like I live around the corner. Right. You know, I live on. You know, I live on the complete opposite end of the yes. island. Yes. And we are here as if I live around the corner. And of course, he drags me with him. Well, you won't complain. I'm she sure. takes no convincing. I, I, I won't. I she I takes mean, no convincing. I'm sure. None at all. We're here at least three times a week. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's that good. Yeah. 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 At different times of day. We happen to see you normally when we're here too. So. Sunday. In, in a tennis outfit. <laughs> you can find me here brunching in a tennis outfit on Sunday. Yes. Now I noticed that they brought out two appetizers that they have. One with the steamed mussels and the beef. The beef. The beef skewers. Mm -hmm. With the corn, tomato, and cilantro. And then we also have the Parmesan encrusted pita bread. Flat bread, yeah. Flat bread. Which I will tell you I've had and it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, because it's pita bread, it's healthy. Um. <laughs> yeah. You can get away with it. It's pita bread. Yeah. You can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you actually can. So let's try first the mussels and see what we think about okay. about the mussels. Okay. It's a nice, it, it's nutty, it's mm. buttery. Um, you can smell the garlic that's in there. It clearly has been infused in this butter. It's also very tender. Very you get tender. The of, of, of the butter and the lime. And the lime. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't give it that, that fishy, fishy taste. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That can That's turn you right. off from shellfish seafood. So, Kanima, what's it like um, living here on the island? So, and I think actually we have a really um, good selection of restaurants here. Um, one of them being Blue Water, and one of the reasons I like to come here is because of the scenery during the day. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, so we have tons of options, and then not to mention, um, we also have you know, our food and wine experience where Blue Water has they've won a couple awards also. So, kind of use that as a reference as to where to eat also. I agree with you on the scenery. It is absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. when you're here during the daytime. Oh, yes. And you look over, you look over at, at Buck Island yeah. and the water, the turquoise water, and you're sitting here and you're eating mm -hmm. and the breeze is blowing. I mean it's absolutely a wonderful for, experience. You stay here for hours. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We've, we've been here we've been here for hours. We actually have for a book breakfast club. Breakfast and lunch. We've yes. been here. We have a book club and we meet once a month mm -hmm. um, to discuss whatever book we're reading. Right. And the very first time we came here was at breakfast meeting. Mm -hmm. And since then, we haven't. We, we usually try to go to different places, right. but ever since we came here for the first time, mm -hmm. we haven't gone anywhere, anywhere else, else because we're so <laughs> hooked on the yes. food. Yeah. So it's we really enjoy it. And also, a great time to come here is when the sun is setting, mm -hmm. like around 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, and as Emil says, you look over Buck Island. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful at that time. <laughs> this is Polly, who owners here yes, at Blue Water Terrace. How is everything? So far, nice. Everything is delicious. delicious. The mussels are get that a lot. Soft. delicious. Get that a lot. Tender, soft. I can taste the garlic and using the butter and the hint of lime just back there. Love Beautiful. it. Chef you just brought me something. Yeah, you what did you bring me? Mango. Fresh mango daiquiris with uh, not too much lemon Okay. Should be good. Good. Um, those, we, we try to do fresh fruit 
Jack Reeves every day if we can. You know, the season is real nice right now. Right. Um, but always strawberries, always something good. Uh, you're drinking a Cabernet. Ooh. We made that with rum today. Okay. We do that with cachaça, we do that with tequila is the best. Mm -hmm. I think, when you're ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, a little fresh lime, mm -hmm. yeah. brown sugar, and the rest I can't touch. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and what is it called? Uh, Caipirinha. Okay. You can call it Polly's brown Caipirinha. sugar. Polly's brown <laughs> sugar. Okay. Polly's brown sugar. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it is delicious. I've been okay, sort of here. sipping, sipping, sipping mm -hmm. on it. You like yours? That's the Blue Water Cosmo. Okay. And what it is looks it? delicious. You get a little yeah. hypnotic. Um, pineapple juice, citrus vodka. So not too strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so a it's a little strong, but it's having cousins. Ooh, that is so this mango it, daiquiri yeah. is delish. Yes, it's really that is fresh. fresh. It's almost like a smoothie. Sure. <laughs> it's delicious. There's a lot of smoothies in the market almost. And that's what happens when you use fresh fruit as right. opposed yes, to the frozen delicious. stuff. It is delicious. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should surprise her. Yeah, surprise me with a little bit of what you can't tell me. <laughs> you guys are missing out on the sauce. Sweet no. homie. Key, what do you look for when you go to a restaurant? Like, what are you looking for when you go to eat? Um, when you're trying to order your food? What are you looking for in a restaurant? Well, I think great food is obvious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm also looking for customer service. Mm -hmm. You know, whether or not I feel welcome here, whether I feel like they're rushing me out, you know, whether they brought all the food out for everyone at the same time, whether they're checking on you. So I, I don't eat here as much as you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that's probably closer. Than I know. Closer, but not as much as you do. However, and there's a group of us that we play, we play tennis on Sundays, and we actually come here at least once or twice a month for Brunch. And every now and then, you know, we'll come during the week. So, but they have wonderful customer service. And yeah. I agree with you. The service here is impeccable. And, and I've said to them, I said to you, Narcisse, where I feel when I come here, like I'm coming to Lori's house. Yeah. I'm not coming to a restaurant. Right. Because right, right, I always right. feel like she wants you to come exactly. to her restaurant. And you, always, and you always see Lori. And you always see Lori. You're right. Yeah. You're right. yeah. Let's try the beef and see what's that like. This is delicious. It's actually a um, beef. It's spicy. Beef. Yes. It's, it's if, you it's if, if you don't it's like spicy food, mm -hmm. then the beef is, is not for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's spicy. If you don't like spicy food. I love spicy, I love spicy food, spicy. so it doesn't you know bother I'm me. I'm not a big meat eater, but this is some good beef. It's ah, delicious. And it's, it's, and it's melt, tender. I was just going to ask you yes. if it's tender. Mm -hmm. wow. And the, the corn sauce is a good match to right. it. It yeah. kind of balances balance out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does. I'm not into spices too much. I don't really like spicy food, but this is tolerable actually. It's not too, too hot. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. There's like a dry rub on That's it. That's one of the things I like is that they actually display their food. Yeah. So you can see it. That's another thing that entices you. Sometimes when you go someplace and read the menu, you kind of wonder, oh, this sounds interesting, but it helps to be able to see it. Not only that, one of the things I've noticed just, you know, from being here so often as well is you'll see Lori come out of the kitchen and go into the market and grab her ingredients right, and run back into the kitchen. So I think that that's really cool. Yeah, too. Right. so if you really enjoy something, you can purchase it in the market. Exactly. I would say about the serving sizes here, huge. they better. are yeah. huge. There's really no way that you can finish your food in one setting. And everybody okay. knows I can eat. I've done it. You yes. know. Yes. I can eat. It's true. And I mm -hmm. always it's have true. to take home a box because I What's can't finish. What's true that you know can eat or that both? Oh, both. <laughs> not only does he eat, oh, yeah. not only does he eat. She's not lot. invited back again. <laughs> <laughs> you can come. <laughs> This yeah, but delicious. the portions here are just amazing. I mean, you yeah. can actually share, especially for families that are on a budget. Mm -hmm. They can still come and, mm -hmm. and share and go home. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you do see a lot of families here, and even on Sundays, there are a lot of church groups or different kinds of people right. that you have your book club yes. that they come. So. Can you taste because they have bread and mm -hmm. sauce? Mm -hmm. Our church comes here once a month. Yeah. And it's and always it's filled. I want to try the bread with the sauce. With the sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm loving the garlic in there. It's, it's, it's good, right? It's awesome. Garlic and onions. Well. <sighs> it's good. You want to taste it? Mm. I'm going to try it. Mm. Yeah, it looks creamy and delicious. But it looks light. Delicious. So it's not too heavy. 
heavy it's and delicious. not too sweet. It's a little too early in the evening for all this hypnotic for me, so I will confirm <laughs> that it is good. Yes. 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 yes, yes, you yes. just get that little hint yes. of espresso. And if you don't like I would you can have this for breakfast. Girl, yeah. <laughs> I have a real imitation. I have a real yeah, um, yes, yes, you, can, you can handle that. Mm -hmm. What is this again? The espresso. It's an espresso, espresso martini. martini. It is the, it's one of the best that yeah. I've actually so there's tasted. coconut cream in there. A little bit that of That is vodka. delicious. It is. It's like a yeah. hot chocolate. Yeah. Exactly. Except that it's cold. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a it's little, not strong. A little, a little, a little something. Yeah, but, but, just, wow. but it, doesn't, it doesn't hit you really hard. I think right. That would These go so well with cheesecake at the end yes. of dinner. Oh, that, I agree. That, that is an appetite. Yes. I agree. Yes. Right. Yes. I agree. Yes. That would be a, a So I think what we need to do. <laughs> so let me take now. Order around. Order, like order around when we get to dessert. Yeah. I think that's what we need to do. You're thinking. I would like to put this to a vote. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. You know, Ayana, I know that for vegetarians, a lot of times you go to restaurants and the menu is pretty much limited yeah. for them because a lot of the stuff, a lot of meats, unless you're going to eat fish yeah. uh, all the time. You said earlier you never had a problem here um, knowing that you don't eat meat. Right. What are some of the things in the menu that um, you found are actually delicious for those who do not eat red meat? I was telling um, Kian just a while ago that the fried chicken they have, the fried chicken and the potato salad is great. I've been here many times and I've never eaten the same thing twice off the menu. Right. They have um, the salmon, they have the pasta salads, they have All chicken, the snapper. They have, yes. I haven't tasted the snapper though. Mm -hmm. The the oh, I have. Oh my gosh. It's the, the, the almond panko crusted yes. um, yes. salmon. Yes. There is like a is there's plantain on mm -hmm. top of the so almond good. crusted salmon. And the roasted. And then a sauce. The and then onions. there's the rice. But I have a really important question. Yeah. You know what's I delicious? I have a confession. I'm actually <laughs> addicted to the banana foster French toast. Oh my, oh my god, god. I had have you had that? It's wonderful. I kid you not. You yes. should I dream about it. <laughs> I literally yes. dream about yes. the oh banana pasta no, really good. So when I come here, I've already got my mind preset that for that's that. what I'm having. Yeah. So I haven't really tried, you know, too, too many, many different. I've tried something. One of the things that you, you notice when you first walk in is the lasagna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. got to try and the lasagna. Yeah. And, and the chicken it. pot pie. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. She knows for that, too. Oh, my Lord. Let me tell you something. I think it's dangerous to have that thing out there when you walk in. Yes, because and I think you she see does too it on purpose. I agree. Because yes. you see I, agree. I come in here thinking one thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And every time I, I stop confused. there and I'm confused, yeah. I'm just going to buy it. I don't know what I want. Yeah, no the, 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 the amount of food you get, uh -huh. the kind of food that you get, right. the caliber of food that you get, the quality, the quality of the food that you yes. get. Right. And the price When you look at the price, yes. you wonder, huh? Yes. This is an error. Yes. They actually support our organic farmers. Um, so we're eating a lot of our salads that actually come from right here. They're supporting local farmers. Now that's a reason just to support her. I know. Yeah. This restaurant. Exactly. The fact that they support, support their local businesses. And you support your farmers. And we have distributors here and they carry their items in the market too. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. I think so. What do you think about that? About us getting more involved in our own agriculture here locally? Mm. I think it's an excellent idea. It's yeah. definitely um, something that's not promoted enough. Right. Um, you hear about it, but not as often as you should. Yeah. And I think that people also need to be encouraged right. to, you know, grow their own stuff. Right. I think I would like to see a school have at least five acres of land where they can grow their own stuff. That's and an excellent idea. In the, in the school one school mm -hmm. no, so okay. funny. When I was growing up, in, in Alexander Henson School, mm -hmm. we did have an entire garden, mm -hmm. and all of you had to participate in working in the garden. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that wasn't for me. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't do the garden. <laughs> um, no, I don't like garden. But you'll eat what's from the garden. But it was fun to do. I will eat what's from the garden. I have to work in the garden. What is she talking about? And the, over, the overhead in this time of Leah. Yes. I agree. I might, I might actually have to give up my 
license to practice law and you start gardening. Hello. No air conditioning. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. That's no, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's important for us to start <laughs> <laughs> And I think whoever is at my house would be doing the gardening. Yes. And I would assist as much as I can. So we'll stay here and Chris has said that. Yeah. yeah. I, just come, I just come to your garden. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> After you've done all your stuff, I just come to your garden. Okay. Yeah. But I like that. I did not know that that, yeah, that no, she I, supports I so. our yeah, local yeah. farmers yeah. and puts some stuff from here yeah. and it's organic. Yeah. Yeah. Did not know that. That yeah. in and of itself is a reason to come out here and support it. It is. It's from local distributors as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. Here you have a uh, seafood gluten with uh, shrimp scallops and lobster. Mm -hmm. uh, top of the parmesan uh, bacon crust. Try to color it totally. Right. That looks good. Like turf. It's a half wow. lobster. 14 ounce grilled rib ribeye served with garlic mashed potatoes, oh, asparagus, and dry butter. What's on top of the lobster? Is that seaweed? Uh, that's seaweed salad, okay. rakimi, and uh, a little lemon. Uh, and then seared uh, center cup pork loin, yeah. topped with sweet cherry peppers and caramelized onions, and a sage demi over pan fried potatoes and broccoli. Mm -hmm. This is our freshly fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Stunning house to order every order. Served with mashed potatoes, cream spinach, and a local biscuit. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that you that this is the most tender piece of pork wow. that I've ever had. You can also taste the seasoning mm. in it. And then there's a stuffing, mm -hmm. the, the bread stuffing with the apples. Mm -hmm. Delish. Wow. So what's in your pasta? Oh my God. So I have shrimp. And they have some scallops in there and it's topped with, looks like some cilantro. Mm -hmm and some parmesan, and the sauce is really creamy, like, like a tomato, buttery, yeah, you have to. So good. Well, this is different for you, Emil, because every time you, well, most of the time when you come here, I get the fried chicken. Fried chicken. Mm -hmm. You're right. I love so the fried chicken. It's good to see him step outside. Though, <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. I love the fried chicken. This pasta is very good. Right? How is the spinach, though? The cream. It's just good, right? Please just jump in. Thank you. Let me try this. You want to try pasta? The pasta yeah, is good. No, actually, it does have muscles in there. Oh, the, um, the scallops and the tomato? Yeah, that's fine. No? And, okay. And the shrimp. Oh, they're really tasting. Wonderful. <coughs> Excellent. Excellent. This fish is good. Mm. Delicious. It's wow. not like. That's really delicious. Awesome, right? <laughs> it's just great. Oh, my. The lobster is good. Mm -hmm. It's tender. It has a nice flavor, like it's been brushed with something and then grilled. Mm -hmm. So it has it's, it's like seeped into, into the flesh of the meat. And the butter with it, once you have the butter with it, but you, but you don't eat meat. So, but well, I might the, steak, the steak, 
delicious. Really? Mm. Soft, mm -hmm. like butter, mm -hmm. cooked through well. And did you eat it well? Wow. I mean, that's actually medium well. Medium well. Uh -huh. Which, I, which I, I think you should always have to be. Mm -hmm. um, and it's delicious. My gosh. And the garlic mashed potatoes. Garlic and, I can, potatoes and I can smell great. quiche chicken. Yes. Yes. It's like an added bonus. He mm -hmm. has favorite pieces, so mm -hmm. I recommend I that. do. Mm. Try that. No. Have you tried this before? I have not. What's this, this one? This is actually the stuffed pork chop. Uh-huh. It's stuffed with the bread, the bread stuffing. Okay. And it does have the apples. I know you're not a big fan of apple bread stuffing, but you can Right, I'm not a major fan of apple bread stuffing. But let me see. And while you're waiting for him, please try the chicken. But I am a friend, a friend yes. of pork chop, a fan of pork chop. Okay, I think it's dry in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> the potato brine. Wonderful. Mm. So before you eat that all up, mm. definitely, I think you need definitely. to circulate it. Yes, 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 yes. That is delicious. That's delicious. Yes. My gosh, and it's tender. Lots of what? So what type of fish is this? Snapper. It is great though. And is this the type of fish you only get when you come here? I've never tasted that before here. Oh, okay. The, that bread so is snapper, but it's great. Okay. I'll definitely be having it again probably. So I'm trying some of your Monday. potatoes. And it's, it's, it's kind of impressive. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And usually oh. what we do, everyone always, always orders something different. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so you can taste everything. Right. And we just pass it around. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make our way through her entire menu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's You should goal. get there in no time with the three, you know, <laughs> three times a week. Don't judge us. <laughs> I'm just making an observation. I think we deserve that. We really deserve that so. just now. Just now. <laughs> now, and of course when you're getting stuffed and you have all this food on your plate from your entree, the question that pops into your mind is, dessert. What's for dessert? Are we doing dessert? Absolutely. Well, notice that I because that governs whether I take. Absolutely, because I'm taking this home. I have to save room. So, I have to save enough room for dessert. This is our um, black strap rum cake. Wow. Okay, that's I, I call it. Oh, the blueberry. Oreo. This is homemade Oreo cheesecake. Oh my gosh. This is a white chocolate and Reese's peanut butter pie. Oh my gosh. Our homemade main blueberry cake. Wow. Mm. Now bring some cake here. Mm. You just have to do an extra round of curve, honey. Yeah. <laughs> the Oreo in this is yeah, so I'm going to have to. Right, and I love that. And the crust is good. So if you like the crust, take out the crust. Mm. So oh, really? Mm hmm how good oh, is good. that? This looks like a mm. Thanksgiving kind of yeah. dessert, right? Pretty. Yeah, this is very pretty. This is the purple. The creaminess of that Oreo. Right? With the chunks of Oreo. With right. the chunks of Oreo at the bottom. I'm telling you, step away. Right. And this is the white chocolate Reese's. Reese's. This is delicious. Yeah. The Reese's. The white chocolate mm. has to be good too. Yeah. That is good? That is okay. good. That's good too. Yummy, guys. Oh, have mercy. Mm. Oh, my God. And then we talked about the gym. It's moist. This is good. But what's that? No, this. This, this is the blueberry. blueberry. Mm -hmm. We have to be comfortable in our own skin and not yes. deprive ourselves of okay, certain yeah. things, I mean, of happiness. Exactly. <laughs> but not just that, I mean, I think you should be able to enjoy whatever you want. Emil says this all the time, and I agree. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily what you eat, it's how much right. you love it. And just be healthy, though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you like a Big Mac, have it. You can't have five though. Right. And you can't have it every day. Right. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people can, not everyone. Right. So you just. But you know, you know even for those who can, they may appear healthy on the outside, but so then later on in life, they do have a lot of health problems. Yeah. <laughs> so you still have to buy it. That is delish. That I've never had a chocolate rum cake. So that's it is delicious. different. And, and the, the, the pecan or the walnut. Yeah. Walnuts? 
It's rich. It's some candy. It's drenched caramel thing. Mm -hmm. It is. So you can definitely taste the rum in that cake. It's really good. Oh. Yeah, you can. It's it's strong. It's, it's, it's strong, but it's really good. And that? It's strong. Does that mean I'm an alcoholic? No. I mean, it's a When we had the round of espresso martinis, then yes. You know what? So how about the blueberry? This is really good. It's so we good. Just pass it, around. it is good. It is good. You know what? It, it, it has a, a fresh taste. It's not extremely sweet at all, but it's fresh. It's like a palate changer. Okay, gotcha. I'm actually not a big blueberry fan, but I'm definitely yeah, I'm gonna try it. Gonna try it. It's good. Mm. I'm okay. so happy right now. No, it it's really like a good, good palate cleanser. It's light. And what I like yeah. about her desserts, right. they're not over sweet. You know, they're you know, you can eat a slice of cake or a pie and be like, oh, okay, it's not really, really sweet. They're really good. And I believe that's because they're fresh. Right. That Everything is, is fresh. That's mm -hmm. a lighter dessert. Mm -hmm. That's not that sweet at all. And I think, if I remember correctly, Lori uses a lot of brown sugar as opposed to the, the regular white sugar. We're back, and we have been joined by Jolanda Simmons, which is Kimba's sister and Lee's cousin. Not in that order. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. Great, yeah. great. Now, I think this is not your first time at the Water Terrace. Absolutely not. What have your experiences been like? Our experience has been pretty good. Actually, when we go play tennis, we come out here afterwards <laughs> to have mimosas and a nice brunch. And of course, enjoy the beautiful view here at the Blue Terrace. And even in the evening, it's nice. The ambiance is very comfortable, it's cool. And of course, the food is always to die for. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite thing on the menu? Mm -hmm. well, I don't think I have one favorite thing. I mentioned the mimosas before, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the coconut cheesecake. She so does real life yeah. cheesecake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And like we said, Blue Waters is a busy place. Different people are here, and we're here now with former Senator Incarnacion. He's here with his family, and please explain to us why you're here tonight. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, for me, it's just a great pleasure. Uh, we're here celebrating the birthday of my mom, my sister-in-law, and my niece. Wow! She won one. Uh, but most of all, for my mom, uh, she looks beautiful for 75 years old. Oh, wow! Uh, that lady right there is 75 that, that years old. Lady right there. Sometimes I try to tell him she's old, that's 75, 57. Exactly. Yeah, but then she tell me, don't you ever do that again. So, I don't know, 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 I don't do you feel always welcome when you come here? Always. I'm going to be honest to you, the professionalism that is exhibited by uh, the manager straight That's down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Straight down. So yeah, it's, it's like what I said, you're not just saying one person or I'm talking from the top straight to the bottom. Okay. And, and like what I said, uh, that, that's what really attracts your presence to come back again. Yeah. Right. Of all exactly. the restaurants to celebrate three birthdays, mm -hmm. yeah. this is the one that you picked. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the yeah. birthday as well. So okay. we also have a birthday at the table. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I feel a little bad though because he looks younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even I know. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard us talk a lot about Lori. Lori, we talked about Lori's fried chicken. We talked about Lori walking through the restaurant. Well, tonight Lori's a little shy. So what we do have is the other half of Blue Water Terrace. We've got Polly, and Polly is here with. Jedi. Jedi, who's actually on the menu as an omelet, right? <laughs> so how long have you been open, Polly? Um, the first year ended in July. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
we were talking about the different components to Blue Water Terrace. We have the dining area, we have the bar, we have the deli, and then she, um, there's also catering. So did we cover everything? Are we missing anything? A lot of catering. We do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we've got a big coffee bar inside. We talked about that. Mm -hmm. Espresso. Right. Awesome. Ice cream. No ice cream. We do pizza. And no shakes. We have a pizza. We have a pizza. pizza. We forgot about the pizza. Pizza. A little bit of everything. A lot of catering. Uh, you guys the fried chicken tonight. Oh, definitely, yeah. Famous, probably world famous now. Yes. Uh, Lori's recipe, and I saw you tried all the desserts. Oh, oh my God. God. The desserts were all awesome. All that Yeah. And that's all Lori's cooking? All Lori, yeah. The Oreo <laughs> cheesecake. Oh, my God. Phenomenal. Yeah. We're actually serving that tomorrow night. I ate it all. Oh. Big uh, wine and beer dinner tomorrow night. That's Have you heard about it? Ken told us about that. So how, how, how do you guys do it? How does she make all of these different desserts and have them there every day in the coffee? It's fresh and it's all very fresh. It has to be fresh. You know, she's going to last more than two days. So right. Every, every two days she's got to be in there making something. It's a lot of preparation and time. A lot of big goods from uh, her old grandma. Uh -huh. A lot of these recipes, so a lot of good big goods. Cheesecake, she just learned and she's become a master of her. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but a lot, a lot of time. She's, she used to be on the line most of the time. Now she's a baker. She's a baker most of the time. So. Now, our, 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 our listeners, our not listeners, but our viewers are going to want to know how is it that you get to stay entirely so thin <laughs> with Lori? That's your life. I That's stay right. Away from the That's <laughs> right. Stay away from the cheesecakes. Oh, my wow. God. Right, Claire. That's my weakness. Yes, yeah. Okay. So Camilo was pointing out to us that the produce that you use, you actually get that locally? A lot of local produce. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, we've got a, a good guy, Brian McCullough, who uh, grows a lot of stuff like mm -hmm. yeah. so We have beautiful good lettuce, has a nice pepper to it. Yeah. Right. Tomatoes are off the charts. Mm -hmm. you know, we try to use South Key, we try to use all the local guys that we can, and uh, when we can, we have to go elsewhere. But right. Right. We try to. That's great. And do you have any events here? We heard about game night and then tomorrow there's the beer and wine dinner. What type of events do you have here well, normally? We do a, a lot of catering. For sure. um, when we first opened up, we had a lot of live music. Mm -hmm. um, we should probably get back into yeah. that by November. Yes. Yeah. It's a little tough with the location, but we're uh, working on it. You know, mm -hmm. we're a little residential, so we can't get too loud. That but right. Uh, yeah. Nice mellow dinner yeah. atmosphere. We can get away. How much help is required in the back with Lori to get all of that done? But probably one of the biggest kitchens on the island. Yeah. So we got two full lines working most of the time. Right. Um, right. Line, a lunch line, and then at night we've got at least four chefs on. Right. Right. Definitely big team back there. Oh wow. For the most part, a nice open air kitchen, so you can see what's going on as you walk by. It's and I really, really, really appreciate that because you can walk by and see what's going on in the kitchen. Right. Right. And I always look in, and I've never seen anything dirty or out of order right, or anything like that. Yeah. Even in the even like on the tables, the floor, everything, I've never had an issue and I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And Ayana was looking hard because you can't see the floor when you walk in. So that's <laughs> <you know. laughs> And then she goes and she looks over. I was telling them and, and we'll tell our viewers that one of the things that I like most about here and We've had an interview with some of your patients here tonight, and they've said exactly the same, the same thing, thing. Mm -hmm. is that when they come here, they feel as if they're coming to your home. Right. It's very homey, and they feel like you really want us to be here. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that, that you get that at many restaurants, that mm -hmm. feel, that home-type feel yeah. at a restaurant. Lori really perfected that back at, at her old deli. Um, we had folks come in there and just envision themselves back in Vermont, or upstate. Right, you know, right. And, um, very country feel. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Everything goes out in the basket and we just, just sort of bring it back. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's a, mostly family out here. And, uh, right. It is a family restaurant because yeah. Lori's daughter Taylor, yeah. you can see her hair. She right. works here. Yeah. And we've named an omelet after a yeah. 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 <laughs> now, with Thanksgiving around the corner, would um, can you let the viewers know whether or not they're going to need 
Yeah. Congratulations. Definitely, definitely always helpful. Uh, any restaurant down here. Yeah. I speak for everybody down here. Reservations just help us out. So, right. Um, pies order all up front and we're kind of ready for you, ready to go whenever you want to eat. Right. What are your days and hours right now? Uh, at the moment, till November, we'll be doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. Four nights a week. Um, Friday nights, we do our uh, fried chicken night. Twenty-five percent off. Saturday, we do our steak night. Any cut of beef, which we carry. You guys know. Right. Right. T-bones, fillets, prime rib. Right. Um, that's twenty-five percent off Saturday. And then Mondays, our big seafood day. We really something we started over the summer. Something that uh, we've done up in New York before, and, and it's something. We really want to build up. I think that's a good night for restaurant um, folks to get out. Right. A lot of restaurants are closed, so that's that true. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So yeah. always looking for places to go. Cater to our friends yeah. Yeah. and everybody else as well. So we a big, try to make it as big a party as we can get away with here. So in November you're gonna go back to what they? We're gonna go back to seven nights. Um, probably just keep Monday the lobster and, and right. seafood big. But uh, Monday day we'll close down. We're we'll taking our deliveries and right. and uh, the breakfast. <laughs> Just probably stick on the weekends and, and lunch all seven days and seven months. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Holly, on behalf of Hotel Lab Entertainment, we just want to thank you guys for not just tonight, but for always welcoming us into your restaurant. It's very homey. We always have a great time. The food is always really, really good. And we wish you guys continued success in eating. Yeah. Everyone. Including them three times a week or more. Yeah, we're here a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Pamela Colon, yeah. local attorney here. So what do you think of Blue Water Restaurant? Oh, look at the view. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the same thing we said. Feel the breeze. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very chill. So it's the best fried chicken on the island. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that actually. Yeah. I think that's everyone's favorite. Is that yeah. favorite dish? No. Uh, my favorite dish here is the duck appetizer. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is it good. It is good. Yeah. Yeah. I've had oh, that. Oh yeah, that's the one. Right. Okay, okay. The yeah. lettuce wrap. It's delicious. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Of those. But it's wrapped in lettuce, so yeah. it's healthy. It's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Lettuce is healthy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. And I think it is. We support. We support that story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I just came in because um, coming here tomorrow night for their their beer versus wine great divide dinner. Yeah. Oh, wow. And what is that? Wow. Um, they're going to have a um, fixed menu, and each course six courses. We'll be paired with a wine and a beer. Ooh. I figured I could do it since I live up the hill. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're just saying we can have a walk home. Home. Uh, I know that's right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, and then you're going to vote whether you like the wine paired with it better or, or yeah. the beer. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Mm. That's that is awesome. Table. Yeah. That sounds cool. like a fun way to vote. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have you had so. the beers before? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to serve. It's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But Tony from um, Dionysus yes. is doing the wines, and I've forgotten the gentleman's name from the beer place, but there's a gentleman who's bringing in importing beers from all over the place. Okay. Nice. And so he's got a bunch of exciting beers he's bringing. Right. Mm -hmm. Local distributors. Local yes. distributors. Yeah. Sounds nice. very oh, interesting. Yeah. Yes. And do you have dessert here as well? No. Uh, oh my god, you're missing out. You don't yeah, know. See, I'm like, I just have another duck. <laughs> 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 well, if ever we come and there's no more duck, we're, we're going to know. Yeah, we're going to come to your house. Exactly. It's a camp house. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's okay. okay. <laughs> I've been trying to be vegetarian for a week, but after the duck story, I'm like, such a read, you know what I'm Yeah, like, push it back, push right. it back. Push it back, 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 back have you ever had, though, have you ever had the maple, what is it? The maple, maple sugar no. and ancho chili duck, roasted duck. No. You have to have it. Yeah, I'll have to have it. Yeah. It is absolutely it's delicious. Yeah. And if you're not really into duck, you can get that same rub on the chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Um, and they're roasted. Absolutely nice. delicious. You have to try it. Okay. You have to try it. Okay. You can see that I care a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would think I live next to you. <laughs> 
you should, you know, see if you can get him like a little apartment. <laughs> I have a little apartment. Yes. There you go. Oh, 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 yes. More duck for me. Yeah. 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 Sometimes he comes twice a day, so that would oh, actually right be well for him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We love it here. Yeah. Well, we're glad you stopped in at the table at five. This is a VI Food Bloggers uh, uh, vlog show on runtel.com. I didn't know about this? Yeah. This is our premiere. This, oh, this, oh, this is our premiere episode. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a table of five. There are five of us who go out and we try different restaurants and we taste your food and we kind of critique what we like about it. So you happen to walk in on the very first episode. I did. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one of the things that I like most about coming to Blue Water Terrace is the fact that Lori makes you feel as if you're coming to her house. Yeah. You, you're at someone's house and you feel extremely welcomed when you're here and the serving sizes here are like you're at somebody's house. And so I've always loved coming here. I live on the opposite end of the island, but you would think that I live around the corner as much as I'm here. But I'm glad to see that you all were here and that you all had a wonderful time. And I'm glad, would you recommend this restaurant? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Without I'm question. I'm proud to question. tell somebody to come here. Well, you've heard it here first. Four individuals who have indicated come out to Blue Water Terrace. The food is excellent. The ambiance is excellent. And there's nothing on the menu you're not going to like. We're still here at Blue Water Terrace, and we have yet another patron. Can you give us your name? Carmen Simmons. And Ms. Simmons, how are you enjoying the food and the experience here at Blue Water Terrace so far? Well, I always enjoy my meals when I come here. As you can see, you get really a lot of food and very, very tasty compliments to the chef. Great. How do you feel about the ambiance of, of the place when you're here? Lovely, lovely. Yes, and the scenery, the beach. Lovely. Absolutely. I've often said that one of the reasons I come here so much is because I feel as though I'm going to someone's home. Yes. And I feel as if she really, meaning Lori, the owner, mm -hmm. really wants you to be here. Yes. Do you get that yes, feeling I as well? That feeling, yes. Service is very nice. Yes, and the food again. What is your favorite item on the menu? Uh, I like a lot of pasta. I know it's not that good for me, but I love it. And so I, I wait till I get here to have my pasta. Okay. Have you had or tried any of her desserts? The cheesecakes? To die for. Oh All of them. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. So, would you recommend that people come out to Blue Water Terrace for dinner? Definitely, because it's very relaxing, you know, it's very relaxing. And as I said before, the food is very good. So, Blue Water Terrace has your stamp of approval? Oh, yes, I come here often. Excellent. Yes. Great to see you. Enjoy the rest of your meal. Thank you. All right.